Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Friday wrap up. Good morning, Tricia. Good morning, Sharon. We are here at the Fight at the Box here in Atlantic Beach. And this morning, along with Tricia, we've got Janice and Rich. Tricia, introduce our guests. Tell them a little bit about them. Uh, Janice and Rich are co owners of Bite at the Box. And Janice, of course, has a history of successful businesses here for many decades. And this has been in the works for many years. And it's finally taken fruition at May 19th. So right. I'm going to turn it over to Rich because he's got all the details and can tell us what the menu is and what. Uh, the rooftop bar is and all the wonderful things that uh, is such a great addition in Atlantic Beach. Well, good morning. So I think one of the founding principles when we decided we were going to put a restaurant here on the circle was how do we uh, give families um, with uh, young children an opportunity to be able to eat and uh, enjoy their day at the beach and have some food. Uh, so many times you've got a small small child and there's lots of offerings, but really all they want is a hot dog that they can throw the bun away and eat it like a popsicle because that's what little kids do. That's so right. so our, uh, we based our menu around affordability, high quality products, and something that uh, every member of the family would enjoy. So with that in mind, we have chicken wings, we have hot dogs, the old uh, famous Carolina Red uh, hot dogs that everyone loves so much. We've got uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, probably one of the largest club sandwiches I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. Uh, and I think our signature dish that you uh, won't find anywhere else is our Sidewinder fries. These are steak fries cut in a curly cue, uh, covered in queso cheese, bacon, and chives. Wow. Uh, wow. This big, thick fry allows it to really hold the, the queso cheese and again, it's one of those items that it's uh, definitely a shareable. Uh, there's too much for, for one person to eat. Sounds like a meal. <laughs> it is. A, it is a meal. We uh, we also have dip ice cream and milkshakes uh, for the adults and the kids. We're open Wednesday through Monday. Uh, for the time being, our goal is to be open seven days as soon as we uh, can get up to speed. Um, we're open from seven o'clock in the morning. We start serving breakfast. Wow. Uh, we have. A, Another signature item on our breakfast menu are hoop cheese biscuit, and we sell those uh, hot with just the cheese uh, melted running out of them, or you can add sausage meat or bacon or, or something. They are to die for. Or, Homemade. Know. Yep. Homemade. They are, they are delicious. And our sausage, we feature a uh, local sausage out of Swansboro, Rig Sausage, so any of you who are local and you know the, the, the Swansboro area, you'll know uh, Rig Sausage. Uh, and when you uh, take a bite of a rig sausage, you know exactly where it came from. So again, our, our idea was to offer something for everyone. Breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner were open till nine o'clock at night. In addition to the restaurant down below, uh, we all have a rooftop bar. And, Which is beautiful. And that's Which where we're sitting on right now. And that's where we are uh, this morning. And on Sunday mornings, we offer a loaded Bloody Mary. So it's your traditional Bloody Mary that comes with, on a stick, a chicken wing, a grilled cheese, bacon, shrimp, pickled okra, pickle, pepperoncini, a lemon, lime, and olives. Now how so, high is this, Rich? Uh, it's, a, it's pretty big. Uh, it is. It's pretty big. And it's a, it's a breakfast meal in itself. So Beautiful, good. During the sure. week, I mean, the rooftop is open for outdoor seating. And at four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, a bartender comes up so you can enjoy uh, a cocktail while um, you look out over the ocean or enjoy the sights and sounds of the beach. Saturdays and Sundays, the rooftop has a bartender from 10 to 10. The rooftop does close down at 10 at night. Um, because it is outdoor, we like to be good neighbors and keep the noise to a minimum. So we do close it, uh, close it down at, at 10 o'clock. So those are our, uh, our main features. Uh, yep, those are our main features over here. And as Janice just reminded me, we have six TVs up here. Wow. So during the winter, they'll have uh, the NFL uh, football package on it, so you can catch all of your games here. Any of the sporting events, uh, golf. Uh, I think uh, Wimbledon has just passed. We had a huge crowd up here on Sunday for the finals of Wimbledon. NASCAR racing, 
Um, if you if you want to see it, we can put it on one of the six TVs up here. Tell us a little bit about the tackle box. Well, the tackle box is it's a the bar. Tackle box. Yeah. It's a bar that we opened like 21 years ago. Yeah. And three and a half years ago, we built the new building, uh, which is beautiful, box. which is nice, really nice, Jane. And uh, tackle boxes, the tackle box, and it's uh, a pretty staple here on the circle. It is and, so nice, um, and it's uh, a, be a, great a beautiful, beautiful place. new building, great place, and great and so place. it's the tackle box, and this is the bite at the box. I just think that's so cute the way. You've done that. I mean, it really just, it's all interchangeable. It, it is. I like that. And, and works well together. And the tackle box is known for being a reasonable, reasonably priced yes. bar for everyone. So when we did the rooftop bar at the bike, we thought we would make it a little different. So it has a little more high end drinks that the tackle box doesn't even sell, right. like martinis and things like that. That's so, perfect. So we were trying to have something for everyone. So the tackle box, uh, as Janice said, it's been around for quite a while and it's really become kind of part of the fabric of the community. Uh, I know in the past several years we've had some uh, pretty terrible storms. Florence really did a lot of damage and uh, the tackle box was probably one of the few businesses in town that had internet access and I can remember every morning opening it up early and there would be community members there meeting their contractors, meeting their adjusters, uh, coming to find friends when they got back to town to see how they were doing. And it, it really became the town square for Atlantic Beach during those troubled times. And the tackle box is probably the last business to close when we have to close for some type of event. And it is the first one open. The tackle box is built with a generator, so we were able to run satellite TV, run our internet, run our coolers, so that people could decompress a little bit, especially if they had arrived back in town uh, and, and had some serious damage, and just to give each other a hug. So it's really become a, a cornerstone in the circle and really part of the fabric of Atlantic Beach. I agree. Well, you guys have done a wonderful job, and I will just say that what you've done here is definitely an asset here in Atlantic Beach and for um, the circle here. It really is. You and got all the people that come to our area. Yes, I wonderful. do. I mean, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and, and thank you for sharing y'all's haven with us. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye-bye. see us.